what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna show you how to do this one right here i know it's intense i know it's bold but why not we're going into summer and festival season and i decided to do something a little bit different than usual so this is it so if you want to know how i did this one and you want to redo it well just go see the steps i'm so freaking hungry uh, okay, so let's start the makeup today. I decide that I will already have my foundation and concealer, powders and brows done because I want to really concentrate only on the eyes and the rest of the makeup because it's a, it's a pretty bold makeup, okay? It's gonna be a long video. Just filming this shit is gonna be long. Ugh. But I'm just gonna explain real quick what I already use on my face. So for the primer, I use this new one from Milk, the Hydro Primer, and this is the freaking bomb. This is amazing. I tested a few times and I already felt in love with it. This is an amazing primer. I really suggest you to buy this one and to try it because it is a really sticky primer and it makes that your makeup stay on your face super long and it's super comfortable and the makeup is not cakey. I really love this one. Yeah. And the primer for my eyes, I use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This one right here. For the foundation, the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation in the color 200. And for the concealer, I use this one from Too Faced, Born This Way in the color Vanilla. I did my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the color Soft Brown and I did bake my under eyes with my Laura Mercier powder and I left some powder under my eyes because there's maybe gonna have fallout with these eyeshadows and I want to make sure that these bright colors don't go under my eyes and just mess everything up so I'm just gonna play safe right now. I'm gonna play safe. I kind of look crazy right now with only this on my face. You know? Yeah. Who wanna date me, honey? So now, guys, that I explained to you everything that I use on my face already, it's time to play with the eyes makeup. And this is, this is my favorite part because <laughs> we're playing with this new baby! This new baby from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And look at these colors. Oh my gosh, what the heck? They really did go bold and intense with the color and I appreciate it, okay? Thank you, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Thank you for these colors. I already have these kind of colors in my makeup store because it's a store that I have now. It's not just a makeup bag. I have so much makeup that I can I could sell it and make at least 2000 minimum. And they are already used. And this is really cute, you know? This is really cute. Okay, so let's start because I'm I'm talking way too much and this is going to be a, a long half video. It's going to be long. I'm going to try to not be, but it's going to be so I'm gonna go right away with the purple color right here, tan. And with my brush, I'm just gonna go pick this color and bring this one right here in the crease. You know, we want it in the crease, honey. And you're maybe going to tell yourself, what the, with this. Like, this is kind of intense, but, you know, at the end, it's going to be really cute. So, just bear with me, fuckers. Just, just stay with me. We're going to, it's going to be cute at the end, okay? It's going to be cute. And now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take a blending brush at the end right here with my hand and I'm just gonna go blend this color to make sure there is no harsh line. Hey. 
So now that we blend the purple, we're gonna go with a um, small blending brush, another one, a new one. And I'm just gonna take this color right here, Monte Carlo, and with this little light pink, I'm just gonna go over right here, the purple, and blend it right there. The purple and light pink are mixed together and now we're gonna continue and do the cut crease with the concealer I already used from Too Faced and a small, small, teeny, teeny, tiny brush to make the cut crease. You know, I need a tiny brush. So I'm taking the concealer with the brush and I'm just gonna go apply this all over my lid I don't understand the girls on YouTube that can talk and do their cut crease at the same time. This is a struggle, you know? It is. Right after I'm gonna take a flat brush and this one is for the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take this color right here, Bahamas. That's gonna be bright, honey. I wanna be bright, okay? Over the concealer and I just want to say right now because I already did this video and I was not satisfied with the final result but I just want to say right now that when you're gonna take off this makeup this bright pink color the Bahamas color gosh it's gonna stain your eye eyelid for days this shit doesn't want to go up this shit want to stay on your freaking eye and I'm just gonna blend again the purple just a little bit with the pink and I'm gonna do the same for the other eyes I will be back Woo! that's it so after the bright uh, pink color uh, we're just gonna go and again take our concealer and just above the lashes create a small tiny line so we can add another eyeshadow like I said it's gonna be a bold one okay don't try to escape from the bold intense makeup look like this and now I'm gonna take a small angle brush and I'm gonna pick this color right here, the color Palermo, this shimmery pink. And I'm just gonna go over the concealer with this color. It's gonna stick to the concealer that we add above the lashes. Okay, let's go to the next step and the next step is quite easy. You just need to kick off the bake under the eyes because we're going for the under eyes. You see, no eyeshadows under the eyes. Okay, so for the under eyes, we're gonna go real quick with the Monte Carlo color right here. And I'm just gonna go right here and spread that color under the eyes and bring it kind of low under the eyes. And we're just gonna bring the light pink and bring it here on the outer corner of the eyes. Now we take back the bright purple right here. And with a small angled brush, this one is from Luxie 215. We're just gonna go close to the, to the eyelashes. Only in the external corner of the eyes. And I'm just gonna take a small round brush, just to mix these two colors together to make sure there is no like harsh line between these two and after that I take my pencil from Gush this one is in the color Hot Flamingo and it's waterproof and it's a really bright purple color and I will go in my waterline 
Hey, I'm back with my uh, mascara and false lashes on. I decided that after I did my waterline, I will directly go for my lashes. So for the mascara, I used the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, this one right here. And for the false lashes, I used the Ardell Wispies Lashes. The number is... There's no number. There's no number. Is there a number? No. It's just called Ardell Wispies for Mink, the new one. I don't know. One day, maybe I'm gonna do a little tutorial to show you how to put false lashes on. But I really don't like to do this in front of camera. Just like my eyebrows. I just think it's boring and I need to concentrate and I need to have my time so I'm just fucking slow that's all so I just love to do this not in front of the camera just to be concentrate okay right, that's it so now we're pretty done for the eyes there's one more step but we're gonna do it at the end uh, because it's the highlight of my inner corner and I'm gonna use the same one that I will use on my cheeks so we're gonna continue with the bronzer the bronzer that I will use is my Hula from Benefit. This one, ah, this one right here. You know, just to give me a little tan because I'm pale. And for the blush, because it's already intense, I want to do something really subtle, you know subtle like my eyes no it's a joke so for the blush I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder oh, <laughs> so tired so for the blush I'm gonna use my Anna so for the blush why am I so tired why am I so stupid that's the question so for the blush I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in the uh, which one? It's the pool party. Why? Uh, this one is the pool party. Ooh, it's a party, honey. And I'm gonna use this color right here. And I'm just gonna mix it a little bit with this one. Because, like I said, something subtle. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little blush right here. Now for the highlight, I'm gonna use this highlight from Artist Couture and this one is in the name Conceited. Conceited? Ah, You know, just gonna add a little bit. A little bit. This is not a little bit! This is, this is not at all a little bit. What the fudge is wrong with me? I just, I just want a little bit, I said. Okay, this is gonna... Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! I said a little bit. I think I did go a little too far with this one. Too bad. Too late. I just said that I will use the same highlight uh, on my cheeks than in my inner corner of my eyes but I changed my mind I did in less than two minutes because I'm a woman just let me be thank you so finally I'm just gonna take this one by Luna by Luna the name of the company is Luna by Luna so this one is in the color Electra and honey it is amazing. I'm just gonna take a small round brush and go in the inner corner of my eyes with this baby right here. I'm just gonna spray this because it doesn't work. And this highlight right now is like my favorite highlight. I'm always using this one. It is amazing! I just decided to use this highlight on the tip of my nose and just above my lips. Ah, because why not? 
I'm Rudolph, man. <laughs> Gosh, that's intense. Okay, time for the lips, and I'm gonna use this one from ColourPop, the Color Trap. Okay, I don't really like the color. I'm just gonna add something on top. Okay, so I add on top of my color trap from Colourpop uh, another one from... This one is from Cake Beauty. No, Bakery Beauty. And this one is in the color Versailles. I just think that the color was not cute. It was not matching the rest of my face. Usually, the last time I did this makeup, I did use the one from Colourpop, but the name of the color... The lipstick is Clueless. I look like someone who is clueless. But the name of the lipstick is Clueless and this one, the color is perfect. But I lost it. I don't know where the hell it is. And I'm mad. Because I love so much that color. So anyway, we're just gonna spray the face and we're gonna be done with this. And guys, I'm opening a new bottle of the Urban Decay All Nighter. I finished my old one and now I'm opening a new one and I'm excited! It's the same shit at the end, but still, it's cute though. Ah! My... Fuck! That's it guys, I'm done with the makeup and I really hope you enjoy this makeup. I know it's a bold one, but we're going into summer and festival and I decided to go for something kind of different, even if it's still pink and purple and these are my favorite colors to play with. But anyway, that's that's okay, okay, except me, thank you. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I will see you in the next one. Bye!